is here. How is he? Still a bit delicate since the incident. Or I'll be too after all he's been through. Bring him in. This is my brother, Kalu. Kalu, this is Remy. Do I look like a joke to you, Ngozi? Huh? You bring me to a crippled lawyer? Does this look like a joke to you? I'm a crippled barrister, mister. Can I call you Kalu? I'm very sorry, Remy. It's okay. Kalu, I'm very good at my job. And I help you. Help me. Help me? <laughs> You're stuck in a pathetic wheelchair, pretending to be happy, and you want to help me? <laughs> Kalu, I'm a fighter. I've had to be. I fight for my client, and I never back down. I'm even willing to represent you without the initial fees. I doubt any other firm out there will do that for you. And as for my pathetic wheelchair, it'll be very comfortable. It gets AC, oh, and fridge. How many out there have that? <laughs> Do you want to get compensation from the company that put you in that chair? Good morning. Good morning. I am the arbitrator appointed by the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators, Nigeria. This arbitration shall be conducted in accordance with the Arbitration and Conciliation Act 2004 and will be recorded. This is not a courtroom, but the rules of evidence applies. So, let's begin with the precedence, with the claimant statement. On the 5th of March, my client went to work at F2 Manufacturing, like he's done diligently for the past five years as an engineer. While executing his duties, he was injured. And then while recuperating in the hospital, he was sacked without gratuity, and the company claims it's because they spent it on his recovery. However, my client has depleted his account on medical bills. He even had to take out a loan for his two surgeries. My client is seeking the accelerated grant of 250 million naira for disability compensation, general injury compensation, accrued pension, and even emotional and psychological trauma he has suffered as a result of this incident. The defendant has the floor. On 5th of March, Mr. Carlo did have an accident in the line of duty. However, this was not caused by occupational hazard. But due to negligence on his own part, with gross misconduct occurring up to that day. Exhibit E1 to E8. Before you shows queries being issued to Mr. Carlo on the preceding date due to several misconduct at his workplace, including his handling of equipment 
I'm drinking wine on duty. Diligent indeed. Objection! I haven't seen these documents yet. This is not a court. There are no objections. In fact, we have no shadow of doubt that Mr. Kalu was under the influence of alcohol at the said day the accident took place. Die from the pit of hell! Let him finish, please. I would like to call on a witness, Mrs. Ola Olugunde, the Chief Operations Manager for Efton Manufacturing. Proceed. Please state your name for the record. My name is Mrs. Ola Olugunde. While this is not a courtroom, please remember that you are effectively under oath. How long have you known Mr. Carlo? Since I started working for the company two years ago. Have you known him to mishandle the equipment and drink while on duty? Yes. Jesus! Hola! Did you see him drink on the third day of the accident? Yes. You were not even there! Let him finish. She is lying, Your Honor! Can you be quiet? Explain what happened. At lunch break, I saw Kalu take two bottles of gin. Two bottles? She, you won't kill me! Calm down. Hola, you. You are a dead man walking. I will kill you with my bare hands. Your Honor, you threatening my client. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Can I have one minute to talk to my client, please? We shall take a 10 minute recess. What is wrong with you? My legs don't work. If we have any chance of winning this case, I need one thing from you. Shut up and let me do my job. Then say something. They are lying. Were you drinking when the incident occurred? What? You too? I told you what happened. I never drank at work. Oh my God. I can't believe this. I can't, I can't believe this. I knew, I, I knew the day I rolled into your office, you would fail me. So much talk for the, I am a fighter. So are you fighting for me now? They took everything from me. My legs. My job. My, my mom. My marriage. I have nothing left. You, you know what? This, 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 this is just a waste of time, huh? This is just a waste of time. Let's, let's not waste any time anymore, okay? This is just a waste of time. Oops. Accident. I'll stop drinking again. Over. 
my friend sent me up on a blind date the other day. We were supposed to meet at this restaurant. When he sees my chair, that's all he saw. That's what everybody sees. It's like I disappear. Now he's lost. I'm fabulous. You can't know what it's like to be disabled. You've been in wheelchair all your life. Well, not having been able to walk all my life doesn't stop me from envying walking up the stairs or running. You have your whole life ahead of you. And you are not disabled. You're differently able. I still can't believe I lied against you. <laughs> Thank you. you said she wasn't at the office that day, right? So, where was she? May I question the witness, Your Honor? Mrs. Ola, where were you on the 5th of March? At, at work. And you witnessed my client drinking on the job. What time was that? In the morning. No, no, in the afternoon around 12 to 1 p.m. And you were present when the incident occurred, right? No, y yes. Miss Ola, you're a liar. This is the signing register in my hand. And it says on the 5th of March, you were not at work. Actually, you were at Elan PLC for a job interview, weren't you? Objection. I haven't seen this document. This is not a court, remember? It says you are at Elan from 8.40 a.m. and did not leave until 1.58 p.m. Isn't that correct? And there's no way you could have been at a factory and you lied about my client drinking, didn't you? Didn't you? Yes. Any other questions or witnesses from both parties? The defendant's claim of negligence on the part of the claimant is unsubstantiated. Hence, I am granting Mr. Kaluike a total compensation of 250 million naira. This is my decision.